Oh, hey guys, didn't see you there. You probably thought, hey, this guy's just sitting around goofing off playing video games. But what you can't tell is I'm actually doing my part to save the world. Because this game room slash work from home office is 100% off-grid solar powered. And I'm going to show you a little bit about that. But before I do that, I'm going to have to win this match. So I'll be right back with you. All right, guys, I'm going to give you a tour of my uh, work from home office slash game room and show you how I converted it from regular shore power to off grid solar. And it's surprisingly easy to do. And uh, I don't know about you guys. I'm just tired of paying those ridiculous PG&E bills. So I spent a few thousand dollars to negate about ten dollars a month off my PG&E bill. Being as though I live in an apartment complex, I'm choosing to do this using the solar generator. If you're not familiar, a solar generator is basically a big battery that can be charged using solar panels or the included AC adapter. The Pecron E2000 features a 2000 watt AC inverter, six AC outlets, three USB 2.0 ports, a 100 watt power delivery port, two 18 watt power delivery ports. It features a regulated 12 volt output, also has a wireless charging pad on the top. It has 1920 watt hours of storage, which for reference, you can run an appliance that draws 1900 watts for up to one hour off of this unit. It has lithium iron phosphate batteries, which are rated up to 3500 charge cycles, and it'll still retain 80% of the capacity. So that means I could charge and discharge this thing every day for 10 years and still have 80% of the capacity of this unit. The main reason I got this unit is this has dual 600 watt MPPT solar controllers. That means I can plug a total of 1200 watts of solar panels in here. I currently have the TV on, my laptop, the monitor, the speakers. Oh, I'm also running this light. I'm only pulling 188 watts. That means I can run everything in here off of just the battery capacity for up to 10 hours. So if the weather is bad, I can work in here all day long without issue. As a matter of fact, last week, you remember the weather was bad. We had a bunch of rain. I never had to charge this unit from the wall once. So far, this thing has worked flawlessly. As of right now, you can see I have a 98% capacity. And that's because I don't have the solar plugged in. I wanted to show you. I have 540 watts of solar panels. And once I plug those in, as you can see right now, I'm pulling in 270 watts of solar. And I'm only using 188 watts. So that means this is charging the unit back up and running everything as well at the same time. My eventual goal is to buy some cheap used solar panels and plug in the second input and possibly run my window AC unit in here as well. But for now, this solar generator is running everything I need to work from home without having to use any power for PG&E, which was my goal. Here are my three solar panels for the uh, solar generator I'm using to power my office. Like I said, I live in an apartment, so this is none of this penetrates the building. This is just a freestanding stand that me and my dad built. These are three Bouge RV 180 watt panels. These are about $135 a piece. In theory, I get a maximum of uh, 540 watts. Uh, the most I've seen is 480 though. You can see, I, I looked around and saw a lot of people's complicated stand setups for solar with brackets and all sorts of crazy stuff, but this worked out pretty easy. This is a couple of two by sixes and a two by eight for the sides. And this keeps these panels at a 30 degree angle. So depending on where you live, you need to keep your panels at a certain angle to get the maximum solar energy. And you can see here, I just clamped them in with a couple clamps. There is one downside to this array, and that is the corner here needs to be cut because as you can see it's casting a shadow onto the panel and the way these work is even if one cell is slightly shaded you'll lose quite a bit of power output you can see the connections back here these are set up in series so this is a pretty simple array and you can see here these are two 100 watt panels that I have powering another solar generator and I'll show you that in a second I got these from Harbor Freight these are pretty nice panels. They have the stands built right into them. So whenever I go camping, I bring the smaller solar generator with us. Use this to power a fridge I have, as well as charge your phones and everything else. These are very good quality panels. And if you're patient, you can find these on sale at Harbor Freight for a really good price. This is my first solar generator. I use this now for a little over a year. This is a Blue Eddy EB70, and it's a much smaller than the other one. So 
You can bring this anywhere. This has a wireless charging pad on top, 800 watt AC inverter, and DC output. And I use this to power this Iceco fridge. And this fridge has two zones in it. And you can set the temperature in them individually. This is really nice because I don't have too big of a fridge here in the apartment. And I take this with me camping. And if you want, you can make one side a freezer and one side a refrigerator. Or you can make both the refrigerator as it's set now, or you can make both freezers. But this has been running consistently for over a year. And only a few times I've had to actually plug this into the wall because of a prolonged bad weather. I know what some of you may be thinking. Oh, wow, big whoop. You can run a, a laptop and a TV off that little solar generator. I'm going to go ahead and try and vacuum off of this. This is the first time I've tried this. I don't know if it's going to work. In theory, the solar generator does 2,000 watts. I haven't tried it, but let's see. Let's see how useful these things can really be. Here's the moment of truth. Let's see if the vacuum works. Ooh, what do we have there? So now with the vacuum on, you can see this is drawing about 1,000 watts total. And it gives you an update on how long it'll run. It shows here with it pulling 938 watts, you got about two and a half hours of capacity. I don't like this vacuum. It sucks. Hope you guys enjoyed my little demonstration of my solar office, work from home space. You know, next time you see an Antioch news segment, just know that I did it with 100% renewable solar energy because I'm kind of just better than you. But anyways, guys, until next time, see you later.